Welcome to the Serendipitous uh, channel. I'm Grace. Uh, welcome back. And if you're new subscribers, uh, thank you very much for subscribing and hope you come back to see more. Um, I'm, t I'm participating or I'm, I'm one of the collaborators for Sweet Pea Papers um, craft, Crafty Christmas in July 2024. Um, this is my first year doing it. I'm really excited about doing it. Um, and I'm so gracious that uh, she accepted me to, to, to be one of the collaborators this year. Um, so bear with me. I'm a little I'm a, just getting my training wheels uh, with videos and stuff. But um, so we have we were given uh, we were given digital kits to work with some Christmas digital kits to work with from Line Dot Arrow, Cara Brenda Creations, Nonstop Paper Crafts, Crafty Dragon Creations, Natty and Moon, Studio Twenty Eight E Journal Creations, The Trucking Scribe. Beauty and Books Co. Paper o Media, Raindrop, Lila, Emma Parrish, artist, and um, yeah. So uh, and you can find their uh, everything in my description box. Their Etsy shops and websites, um, and you also find um, Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group and um, and uh, Junk Journal tutorials and more Facebook group to uh, to to um, to join that to join those Facebook groups. So there's also going to be this is running from July 1st to July 31st, so it's already started and uh, there's already videos up and we've committed to um, one video uh, per week, so about four videos. Uh, I might do more depending on how my projects come along. Uh, we're starting off a easy. Uh, an easy project for this week but uh, but back to the drawing there's going to be a drawing on August 1st there'll be about 12 prizes to win and uh, just to let you know I'm one of the uh, prize givers so uh, mine is the uh, my ebook that I, I have in my coffee page and you can find that uh, link in either my description box or in my profile and you can have a little preview um, of what it is and actually I have a a video with a flip through of my ebook if you'd like to have a look at it um so that will be my uh that will be one of the prizes so to enter the drawing you post your pics of your christmas projects using the hashtag crafty christmas july 24 in the sweet pea papers or the junk journal tutorials and more facebook groups each post is one entry and you can post in both groups at the same time and double your chances sweet pea papers just launched her video um, yesterday on July 1st uh, of how the collaboration works and that sort of thing. So have a, view, have a go look. And we are tw 25 collaborators, I believe, that are um, making videos. So there's going to be 100 plus videos um, to watch and entertain for the, uh, for the month of July and to get a head up on your Christmas crafts because um, we know Christmas comes around really quick and uh, and that's why we do Christmas in July. So to get started, I'll let you know, uh, I'm using uh, Kara Brandon's Creations um, Christmas Kit. And it, this one's called Retro Christmas Junk Journal Kit. Um, and it's super, I love retro. <laughs> and it's really cute. And, uh, and uh, so that's what I'll be using for my project. So I'll do a little quick flip through of the pages. These are some background pages that she has included. And um, I didn't print all of the kit, so there's more pages to this. I only printed what I was, I was gonna use for this project, but there's some really cute pages to make a, a journal with, some journal pages. Now this is a misprint. I printed on, on the top of a background. I wanted it on the other side, but I'll be using that uh, up anyway. And love this, this uh, spread, really, uh, really fun. And she also has uh, some background pages, which is, uh, this is part of the, her cluster kit. Um, so it has a few pages in it, has some buttons and words, everything you need to make a cluster. So that should be fun. Some Santas and then some cards to include in the cluster. A cluster or even a snippet roll, you can do it. You can do that. And that's another background page. So that's the kit I will be using from Cara Brandon Creations. And, um, and I'll be making a, I don't have the prototype or anything like that. So I'll be creating on the fly with you guys. Um, I've actually never made one of these. I saw, uh, I saw this project from uh, 
Liz, uh, Liz Paper Project, I believe it is. Um, and, uh, and she made a, uh, it's, it's a really simple mini journal, I'd say, mini notebook journal. Um, an easy craft to make uh, in mass production if you wanted to make these for uh, a little Christmas uh, stocking stuffer. It'd be really cute. Um, it's made with a paper bag and it has a secret pocket pop-up pocket in, uh, included with it. So you use the entire um, paper bag. So um, this is pretty much the paper bagging and you can see it's the length of an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet. And um, the width is about, I guess, three and a half inches, if I'm going to estimate. I don't have my ruler <laughs> at handy right now. But I'll be coming back and showing you how to do that. So um, I hope you all join the collaboration and watch all the videos, like and subscribe to the new ch channels that are trying to grow. Really, really appreciate all the subscribers I've been getting in the last few weeks. It's been really exciting to see. And I'm really excited to get on and uh, with uh, crafting for Christmas. So I'll uh, see you soon. Thanks. Bye. So hi. So let's get uh, to it. I've cut up most of my stuff uh, to prevent uh, uh, fussy cutting and stuff on camera. So and I got my supplies together. I fussy cutted some of the Christmas uh, from the Christmas cl uh, cluster kit. So, and I just have this temporary in this uh, three little envelope uh, pocket. And I got some stickers. And what else did I get? I got some specialty paper. I figured it went really well with the uh, Kara's kit. And I got some rub-ons that I might do on some ribbon. This is actually from tape, Taperology. I got a big Christmas box last year. Um, with all sorts of supplies and it was just like a mega box. It was so cool. It had so many goodies in it. And this was also part of it. So I might use that on the spine. I'm not sure yet. I only got one of each. It, uh, it's like I want to hoard it. It's so pretty. Um, and then some of the, some trim that also was in the same box. Like that. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. So I'm kind of like going with the flow on it. And, uh, so let's start with the paper bag. So this is a, a regular lunch bag. Um, it is 10 and a half by five. Actually, I thought that was three. <laughs> I should measure. Yeah, so yeah, 10 and a half by five. So um, that's a, it's a regular uh, lunch bag. And so uh, the first step, so we're making a mini, I call it a mini notebook, little journal. It's gonna be slim as well. It's not gonna be very wide. And uh, there be, there's gonna be like a secret pop-up pocket on the inside and the secret pop-up pocket is used with the base here. So we're gonna use the entire bag. So first step is just to cut this. Just pretty much you use the um, the folded edge as your guide. You can just cut it roughly. There we go. So and that we'll use uh, later and we'll decorate. Put that to the side. And then we'll take this. And so you're left with your both of your openings so open it up and just slide it over like this and it makes it into a fairly wide uh, thing and where did I put my bone folder this is what happens when you clean up after a different type of project and you gotta get set up and here we go I found one but this is not my favorite this one's like super big Anyway, that's what I have. And now we just simply fold. Uh, yeah, so it's like this, but we're going to turn it around this way. And no, yeah. Well, we'll keep it this way and then fold. <laughs> we want the openings to be on top. How about that? So there's two openings here, top and bottom. We want it to be on top and we're just going to join them at the edges and just fold 
and there you have it. So it's going to be a, uh, just a little journal and you can see it's very slim. And you can trim a bit of the, uh, of the edges if they're not straight. I think mine is okay. Maybe just a, maybe just a bit. I'm just kind of doing it on the rough cut. And you'll notice you, um, sometimes they have it. Oh, it's right here. The little top notch here. So actually I want that one out. I want that on the outside. So I'll just flip it over. I need that on the outside. Just refold it. And there we go. And now we're just gonna cover it with the uh, with the papers. And I should check if there's any things like this if you wanna glue them down, but it's gonna be covered by paper anyway, so I'm not too concerned with it. So let's just go with that. And for me, so like I said, I'm, I'm using Cara Brandon's uh, Retro Christmas Kit, and I wanted to use this as my cover pieces. And I'm gonna leave a little framed edge, I think. I always like leaving a little framed edge. And I might, yeah, I'll just snip that a little bit more. And I'm just gonna measure, make sure I'm in frame, because I keep pushing it forward and it keeps getting out of frame. I already had to like re-tape a, a piece of this video because I was completely out of frame showing the digi kit. So yeah. And now I can't find the pencil. Oh, here we go. And so I already a mark there, but that wasn't accurate. So I'm just gonna put a little mark there. And this is just a little sliver I'm gonna take off maybe from the top because I don't wanna lose too much of the bottom. And um, take my paper trimmer out. This part first. It's, it's done. Oh, I just cut off my measurement. Yeah, silly, silly. Don't we all always do these silly things? And of course, on camera is always different. So, yeah, let's just do that. There. I know I'm trimming it again. And I don't know if I told you, but then you'll have a little kind of a pocket there, you know, and a pocket there. So it'll be really fun. Okay, let's get back to cutting, trimming this down. for me and the back uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one yeah so the back let's just sort of roughly uh, measure that so I hope you all are uh, enjoying the uh, videos that are coming out uh, it's going out in full force everybody's introductions and projects and so I hope everybody uh, is able to um, I'm gonna cut right through that uh, that image I guess that's part of the deal right yeah well it feels so guilty but it's just like paper right Okay, here we go. Not too bad. So that's going to be the outside. Sorry for the 
camera uh, just like swatted you guys there. Um, okay, so we'll put this, this one's in French. Like so. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, um, almost forgot to uh, say it. I got this idea from, this is not my original idea. Um, I got this from Liz Paper Project. And she did a video, it's about four months ago. I came across it. I was looking for the secret pocket idea, actually. And uh, she has a video of it uh, showing the pocket plus the this journal. And I just found it so cute and such an easy project to uh, do for Christmas time. Or like even to mass make, if you want to make these for like stocking stuffers or for even a main gift. Depends how much you want to embellish it and that sort of thing. But, you know, make a nice little gift and also a stocking stuffer uh, for those who like, you know, to journal in and just have a nice Christmas book. Or you can use it for yourself during the holidays to take notes in and it's easy to carry. Um, that sort of thing. Because you can't fit too many pages in it since it's a uh, very thin spine. So, and I just used um, glue stick there for this because I find glue stick is easier to glue on um, on uh, paper, on copy paper, because this I printed out everything on copy paper. And might need a little bit of a thingy here. So we'll just do that. Find when you all you have to do is really just stick crease it really well and it'll be I won't have any uh, issues. There we go. So we have that so far. And I think I'm actually gonna cut I'm gonna trim this out. Take a, sorry for the reach over. And the uh, shadowing, it's, my lighting's bad. I had to switch up my, my craft space because uh, I had water damage in my craft area and it's in shambles right now. So I had to move, uh, move my operation somewhere else, right? So, so I'm just doing what I can with what I got at the moment. So that's cute. So I'll do the back. Same thing. Oh, and I forgot to uh, ink because I like inking. And of course, my daubers look the same. Black and black. Let's try to redo it. So... shaking the table again. Sorry about that. I'm trying not to touch my table while I do this. I'm actually at a coffee table sitting on the couch and it's not the best uh, position but it's what I got to work with. And yeah so I uh, hope you are all uh, like I was saying enjoying the release of uh, Christmas in July by Sweet, pa Sweet Pea Papers. And I'm so honored to be a collaborator. You have no idea. This is so much fun. And uh, I'm hoping to, to do many more of these. These are really fun. So, okay, so then we're gonna glue this one down. Same thing. I'm using a small glue stick, but that's what I have right now. Sorry if I'm being quiet and like concentrating and trying to focus. I'm not too used to um, doing videos and uh, crafting at the same time. 
so here I go. Trying to get in the Christmas mood in July is not the easiest thing. We're in summer here in Canada, and uh, and we don't get very many. Uh, you know, we get a couple of months, I guess, of summer, and then you know, I f I feel like winter is like six months long, and, uh, and yeah, but I love Christmas and I love crafting for Christmas, and I never have time to do what I want to do. At Christmas by the time you start getting in the mood for it you know it's already late November and you know and you still have you're doing all the preparations trying to do activities with your kids or with your family friends and stuff like that so here we go front and back's done so it's uh it's coming together and now we're gonna do the inside so I'm gonna pick let's see I think I had was it this one that I picked out? Just bear with me. I don't know if it's that one. It's on the other side. I think I wanted it. I wanted it as a page, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it? Oh, I wanted to keep this. So I think it was this one. Yeah. I found it really cute. So I'm just gonna take again a little measurement now, take all the measurements first how about that is that that's like like more efficient and like that and I think I'm gonna cut a little strip from the top from the bottom just another little sliver Water didn't want to do, but that's okay. We'll work with it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I still need my cutter. Don't know where my mind is these days, All right? Certainly, uh, a little distracted. So, there we go. So is um, so who's participating? Are you participating in uh, making some projects and uh, things for Christmas? Um, it's nice to get a head start. Maybe you can get some ideas on little things you can do in uh, bulk like this. I think it's pretty doable in bulk. Um, you can do a few of these in, in no time. And you can make them personal to people's... Uh, to people's uh, personality and sorts. This one is just a, uh, it's actually a prototype right now. So I'm just playing along and seeing how it's gonna turn out. I haven't made one yet, I just watched it. And um, and it's pretty much how I craft. I don't, I don't particularly like um, making prototypes and then redoing it again. Um, unless if I have a goal in mind of, you know, oh, this is for 10 people, so, I'll start making them. Um, then, yeah, I can. I totally do a uh, a prototype and test everything out on that one before I decide on what what to do and that sort of thing. Which you know, we play around with it, and and the prototype can be you know can be for me afterwards, right? So and if it turns out great the first time, wow, that's like even better. You can actually gift it. Oh, my fingers already inked. Um, yeah. So, I think I actually may do this without <laughs> spoil a surprise for Christmas. But in case, you know, I don't get the time to do, you know, ten of them. I just might. We'll see. Or if you, uh, if you sell things on at craft fairs or, or even if you want to create something for a, um, a gift exchange at, um, uh, at work, maybe. All sorts of uh, ways of using it. Oops, little crinkle there. It's okay. Let's get a squeeze. Just noticed the little bunny. It's cute. I. This is a really cute kit.
and then we'll I already chose some of the papers that I'm going to use as the signature it's going to be one signature and you can actually um uh Liz uh I think that's her first name Liz Liz from paper uh project there she uh just stapled it and and that was it and um so but I like the uh I like sewing in signatures and I like that added touch that added homemade touch I find rather than using the staples to uh, do the quote to, to put it together so I think we'll do the uh we'll stitch it up but yeah and you know shameless plug here I also have an ebook that I show you how to make a a no sew journal so not the pamphlet stitch but a journal made tied with a ribbon and um super easy and um and if you want more info about the in book the ebook i have a a uh, a video that i posted up uh, a bit ago um doing a flip through of it um to show you you know what's included in the ebook because sometimes ebooks you don't know what you don't get to see a bit of the uh, book right so I figured I'd do a flip through, so I have that in my on my channel. But I'll uh, I'll post the link down below in the description box as well, and um, if you're interested in watching that, well, there we go. So we have that first step done. I don't know how much time I'm on so far. I'm already on 20 minutes, so maybe uh, we'll do the next step in another video. Maybe finish it off. The next one, let this dry. I like to let the things dry and, uh, and go from there. So uh, that's it for uh, that's it for now. Unless if I attach uh, the next step to, to this video, I'll uh, salute you by saying, let the serendipity find you in your crafts and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.